All right, guys, Boy 32 here. Check it out. This is real big news. I just want to give a big, big hug and a thank you to my good friend BJ Weed who emailed this to me just now. Now, I haven't actually read it, but all I had to do was read the headlines, and I'm going to read them right to you. This is huge. Ninth Circuit ends California ban on high capacity magazine. This is of 1056 Pacific time, which was, you know, about a couple hours ago. <laughs> Sacramento, California, a three... A three-judge panel of the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals has thrown out California's ban on high-capacity magazine ammunition magazines. The panel's majority ruled Friday that the law banning magazines holding more than 10 bullets violates the constitutional right to bear arms. God, how cool is this? California Rifle and Pistol Association attorney Chuck Mitchell, uh, Michelle, calls it a huge victory. The ruling has national implications because other states have similar restrictions. California Attorney General Xavier Becerra, what a POS, did not immediately say he would ask for a full court review or appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court. He also did not say if the state would seek a delay to prevent a buying spree. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah, don't give me any crap because I'm wearing the same shirt two days in a row, man. I'm a very busy, busy man. But in any case, what this does... Uh, it weighs heavily exactly on what is going on across our country and the future that the individuals who are running for office right now are totally against what they call regular capacity magazines. As a matter of fact, yesterday we were talking about that uh, with Biden and now with, uh, what's her name? I can't even remember her name. Kamala, Kamala, is that her name? Uh, they are so anti-gun, it's ridiculous. I don't understand how somebody like that can be actually be elected in our country. And if you own a firearm, you own it to your you owe it to yourself to vote with a clear conscience that somebody who is translucent, who has dementia and doesn't even know how to tell the truth because in yesterday's conference call video conference or the, the whatever they did up there, all they did was tell lies. I, I can't imagine how Joe Biden and uh, Barack Obama handed over the most successful economy in the world and uh, Trump destroyed it. It's unbelievable in that fashion. And that, uh, you know, uh, as the great uh, Joe Biden uh, led us through the, uh, what was the epidemic, the Ebola epidemic, where, well, hold, brace for it, brace for it. Four people in the United States were infected, but he saved us. He saved two of those individuals because the other two died. I think at a 50% ratio, uh, you got to think of it. He's pretty much a loser. And then, you know, saying that Trump was a uh, pussyfoot around with uh, the uh, Middle East terrorist. Yeah, whatever, Joe. But in any case, well, it'll be interesting to see what California Attorney General Xavier Becerra does to counter this whole thing. The national implications. Here's where it's very much important. There are several states in the country right now, New York, uh, New Jersey, Maryland. Uh, I'm not sure of a couple of other ones, but I'm sure there are Illinois, where they have a capacity limit on your magazines. So it, it's going to be interesting to see. Now, what I would suggest is that once they're available and it can be able to ship to your uh, country, or no, I'm sorry, your state, uh, please do me a favor. Go to kb32tag.com and buy them off there. I'll put a link on the very first page so you guys can find out what's going on and go to the uh, any one of the manufacturers there, Primary Arms, Palmetto State Armory, just click on the link and go there. Support my channel by doing your purchasing. It doesn't cost you any more, but it sure as shit will help me out, and I really appreciate it. But in any case, yeah, man, congratulations to the uh, California Rifle and Pistol Association. Chuck Mitchell, Michelle, M-I-C-H-E-L, it is a huge victory. That's a tremendous victory. If you live in California... Take advantage of it because this guy, Xavier Becerra, is a POS and he's going to try to get it turned over as fast as he can. And Maura Healy, this one is for you, young lady. Let's go to Boy32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom. This freedom's not free. Thanks, BJ. As soon as I saw this come over, man, I really appreciate you letting me know. Let's go to Boy32. I am out of here. I might even go take a shower. Tomorrow's bath day.
whether I like it or not. Let's go to Boy 32. I already said that. We're out of here. Y'all take care.